Hello. In this session, we will add a border to characters or objects using material. First, to create a border, generate a material. Set the blend mode to masked for displaying the inner part of the mesh with the opacity mask and check two-sided. Create a two-sided sign node to differentiate both sides of the material. Connect the one minus node to the two-sided sign node and link the connected node to the opacity mask pin. Next, press 3 on the keyboard and click to create a constant 3-vector node. Convert it to a parameter and set your desired border color. Then, to set the brightness of the color, create a multiply node and a parameter node and connect them, as shown in the video, to the emissive color pin of the material. Parameter node by pressing S, set the shading model to unlit, so the material outputs only the emissive color. Next, to set the masking range, create a Fresnel node. Previewing the Fresnel node shows the inner value of the object according to the camera angle, presenting a gradient in the form of a border. Use the 1 minus node to lighten the inside color and darken the border. Then, using the Multiply node, connect the nodes linked to the two-sided sign node so only the inside of the material is masked. Next, create a Vertex Normal node to set the border thickness. Connect the Multiply and Parameter nodes to the Vertex Normal node, as done for Emissive Color, to adjust the border thickness. Generate an instance of the material to adjust the parameter values set in the material. Then adjust the parameter values in the instance. Next, locate and click the character's blueprint to open it. In the construction script, create an Add Skeletal Mesh Component node to set the border for the character. Drag the mesh component set for the character, generate a Get Relative Transform node, and connect it to the Add Skeletal Mesh component node to match the created skeletal mesh's position, rotation, etc. Then, create a variable to call the Add Skeletal Mesh component node at any time. Next, use the Set Skeletal Mesh node to set the character to the newly created skeletal mesh. Connect it to the Get Skeletal Mesh node fetched from the previously referenced mesh component to make the created skeletal mesh identical to the main character. Then, Create a set anim instance class node and connect it to the get anim instance class node fetched from the mesh, allowing the newly created skeletal mesh to follow the animations given to the character. Lastly, to apply the outline material to the created skeletal mesh, Create a set material node and connect it. The Unreal Engine character has two material slots, so generate two nodes and set the slot number in element index. Apply the previously created outline material instance to the set material node. Now, if you hit play, you'll see that the border is applied to the character.